Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the LibTech Dynamo. This board features Mervin's C3 camber profile, which is a very mellow reverse between the feet and then camber underfoot out to just past the inserts and then it flattens out in the tip and the tail. What this is gonna do is give you the load, pop, snap, and drive of traditional camber, but you're gonna have that ease of entry in and out of turns from that flat section, as well as a little bit more optimal powder float. This board is available in 150, 153, 156, 159, 162, 156 wide, 159 wide, 162 wide, and 165 wide. I rode this board at Arapahoe Basin on a sunny bluebird day with warmer temps, with moderate to high sustained winds. You had chopped chunder, a little bit of ice in spots, slush and perfect hero snow on the corduroy and I rode it with my Rome black label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. All right so the overall flex of this board is slightly past middle of the road making it just a hair stiffer. It's a little directional in nature so you have a slightly softer nose and it progressively stiffens back up to the tail. The torsional flex is there but it's not overly abundant. The cool thing about this board is the stability. It does a good job of dampening any chatter you get but still retains its liveliness so it's not a dead lifeless turd. And if you're one of those guys that really is riding lumpy chopped out terrain this is a great board for it. It just plows through everything in its path without having to be worried about getting bucked around or getting knocked over with it. So if you like to charge into just choppy ass terrain, go for it, do it. I dare you, you won't or you will. The cool thing about this board is that C3 camber profile is really easy to engage. You don't have to actively load it up and just put all your weight into it, but what you put in, you're gonna get a little bit more out of, which means it's slightly snappy. So if you wanna ollie a slow sign, pop off a roller, you know, launch a side hit, don't worry about it. You're gonna be able to boost with it. And when it comes to jumps, this thing can handle it. It just pops smoothly off the lip. You never really have to worry about it. It's gonna get you up in the air, get you down on the landing, lock in solidly when you do come down so it doesn't wheelie out or anything like that. You can be more laid back, let the lip throw you, or you can load that camera, pop off the lip, and you're gonna go a little bit higher, a little bit further. So here's the thing with buttering on this board. Little speed goes a long way. You do have this sweet spot right out by the tip and the tail contact point that that's where you really wanna leverage your weight into to get it to lock in the nose is gonna have just a hair more given it than the tail, and I mean just a hair. It's Most people probably won't even notice it, but it's there, and it's gonna lock in, and it's gonna slightly fight you. You're gonna be able to get pop out of any butter variation you do, so if you're one of those guys that likes to pop a 180, land on your nose, press into it, and snap back out, don't worry about it. If you're doing a high-speed wheelie on the tail, and then you wanna pop out off or over something, it's got you covered. Basically, if you know how to butter, you're gonna be able to do it just fine. If you don't, this board will probably eat you alive. When it comes to jibbing, basic tricks are really where it stands out. You know, you're gonna do your stock nose press, your stock tail press, and if you do a board slide, you're gonna feel it slightly cradle right between the feet. It never really claps out, but it cradles, and it's gonna slide okay. I mean, it's not a jib board by any means, so if you're jibbing with it, more power to you. One of the standouts on this board is how it actually carves. It's got power edge to edge. It's fluid and smooth. And when you're ankle steering, you'll notice that you can just transition really quickly from toe to heel and you don't have to worry about it. It locks in and it grips, but it never feels like you're just stuck in that carve. And when you're more aggressive, you're driving your knee into the center of that C3 to push off the tail. You can lay this board over and really just group out a carve, pop back out, land on the other edge, come back into it again. This board does a great job of carving, whether you're doing short, tight, quick, mellow carves where it's more ankle steering, or if you're doing those deep, hard, aggressive carves where you're just driving your knee into the board and hammering it as hard as you can to just get as much power out of the tail. It does them all with ease. There's really not many limitations, or if any, with this board. Who's this board for? The all-mountain free ride guy with a freestyle flair. When it comes to this board, I always go back and forth. Is it an all-mountain freestyle board? Is it an all-mountain free ride board? It fits in both categories perfectly. It's probably the most balanced board in the LibTech line. It's something you can grab and just rip any kind of terrain with and you don't have to worry about it. It's that quintessential Swiss army knife that you don't have to worry about. It's just gonna get the job done and let you keep on riding. This is a really great board and I do believe that I underhype it too much. 
think more people should actually be getting on this, especially if they're Mervin fans. So if you get a chance, check it out. Comparable boards, the K2 Passport, the Rosnal Resurgence, the Ride Algorithm. Binding recommendations, the Bent Metal Transfer, the Ride C8, the K2 Formula. This has been my review of the LibTech Dynamo. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, David Lefebvre, and well, I'm going to continue to be your host, and I'll see you in another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.